Hi, my name's Karen Rice and welcome to my YouTube acrylic painting channel. I'm going to be painting a step-by-step -step tutorial of a daisy field. All the materials I will be using will be in the description below and all the colours I will be using I will list those also and give you some alternatives. You don't have to use all the colours that I'm using, you can sort of just use whatever set you have and go with it. If you have any questions about the materials or the techniques I'm using, please put them in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. The first thing I want to do is I need to cover the canvas board with a base colour. In this instance, I'm just going to use green. I've slightly watered it down in some instance just to get the paint moving. And I want to cover the entire canvas board just so it's, it's a nice setting for my daisy field. So I don't have this white canvas staring me in the face. If you look to the right, I've made myself a little stay wet palette. So you can use a tray or a plastic box or anything like that, line it with kitchen towel, soak it and then put some parchment or baking sheet paper on top and then squeeze your acrylics out and they shouldn't dry out and it's a process called osmosis so why not give that a try so as you can see here I've covered the entire painting I've given it a blow dry and now I'm putting a second coat on so I'm building up my background now I'm still using that large one inch brush and I'm mixing up the greens some yellow ochre some of the blues just to create a variety of different greens and I'm just starting off painting like the background for my painting so no flowers at the moment just painting the marks in the background the colors and if you look at the reference photo there is a like a violet color on the top right hand corner so I'm just blending this through using this flat brush really sort of smoothing the paint and blending again if you find the paint a little stiff just add a tiny bit of water and it will be easier to manage so I'm using cobalt blue, violet and a light violet colour to create these violet tones and I'm using sap green and the cadmium yellow with a touch of yellow ochre for the greens but I will have some alternative colours in the description below so remember to check that out. So here I'm actually going to be painting the daisies. Now it seems a bit odd to start off with yellow. I'm not using white. I try to avoid using white as much as I can because with acrylic painting you want to work dark to light and if you introduce white too early you don't get all those lovely depth of tones. Now yellow is still a very light colour but the idea of the yellow as well is when I put the white on top of it it really makes that white sing. It really makes it stand out from the background and it's quite a nice relaxing thing to do. I'm using a round brush now to paint the smaller daisies. I'm quite a loose impressionistic painter. If you want to paint these a little bit more tight, a little bit more details, go for it because the photo is quite good and you've got lots of detail there. So it depends how far you want to take that sort of detail whether you want it more photographic or very very loose it's entirely up to you because it's your kind of statement as a creator as an artist so I'm going off piste here a little bit I'm doing my own thing as well I'm creating my own composition I'm putting smaller daisies top left hand corner and larger ones in the center and in the foreground now I'm using some of the cobalt blue with a touch of violet and I'm putting in these wild flowers maybe corn flowers can't really tell really from the photograph but whatever they doesn't matter whatever you want them to be and I'm using the little bit of the light violet just to make them a bit lighter I haven't squeezed any white out yet and I'm making a lot of these abstract small marks to create the impression of wild flowers I've added a touch of cobalt blue to the light violet there to show some little highlights there the light violet is quite light if you don't have that color you may want to squeeze out a tiny bit of white but just go easy with it you don't want to go too light at this stage of the painting. So I've introduced a little bit of pink now. I'm using Opera Rose, but any pink will do, magenta or permanent rose, whatever you have. And I'm putting some smaller marks now, just so it looks like little wildflowers in the distance. One of the great things about acrylics is if you don't like something, you can just paint over the top of it. I didn't like that daisy in the top left-hand corner, so I painted over it. And that's the great thing about acrylics. 
it just takes the pressure off and you can just change things as and when. So I'm using a half inch brush and I'm just painting in some of the yellow centers there. And I'm mixing up a lightish green now using the turquoise and yellow, but again, use any blue, any yellow. And I'm just painting using a liner or a rigger brush, some long stems going through. And don't worry about painting straight over the flowers because as you know, you can then paint over the top of that afterwards. But I wanted to get that flow so I'm just I've actually slightly watered down the paint so it moves better and I've actually added a little bit of white now in the bottom left hand corner just to get those greens looking a little bit lighter now because I've got a lot of my darker tones established so I'm building up now sort of mid to light tones so I'm letting this paint these stems run right through the painting and if you look at the photograph there is so much detail, so you can pick and choose what you want to put in the painting. So I'm finally using the white. I'm using my quarter inch flat brush and I'm just painting in these little petals now of the daisies a little bit carefully, you know, not going too mad, having a think how I'd like things. Now in the photograph, they haven't got many with the centers, but I've decided to put more just to kind of create some different sort of viewpoints. So that's just my take on it. Make sure you fully load your brush with white paint and don't add any water because it'll make it transparent and then the color underneath will come through. It's really lovely actually painting this over the uh, yellowy color that I put underneath. It's kind of lovely and creamy, the texture. So I'm just using the tip of that um, flat brush as well to create marks. And it's quite nice actually using a flat brush to paint the petals rather than what you would think to use a round brush. I'm very comfortable using flat brushes in acrylic painting. I find it really suits the medium. So I've mixed up an orangey color, that's the pink and the yellow, and I'm just putting a little bit more detail in the center of the daisies. I have actually blow dried the painting so I don't wanna pick up any white paint that I put on the daisies. So I'm just putting those in a nice warm color and then little dots again with my flat brush on those smaller daisies. So again, I didn't like this daisy here. It, it was taking up too much attention, so I've made it slightly different and I've taken the one out in the middle. I mean, it's just my process really. I'm sort of painting with instincts as well, not trying to copy the photograph. So sometimes things don't work. They just don't, they might work in a photograph, but they don't work in a painting. So I've let that dry where I've painted at the top and I'm just putting a little bit more daisies and details in here with a little flat brush. It's cutting towards the end of the painting now and I'm just putting in those final sort of marks to bring the whole painting together. I love that sort of lilac colour, that's the blue, the pink and the white. So I'm just adding some lighter green here, so I'm just using a little bit of yellow, a touch of white, touch of green or you could put a touch of blue even with the tip of my quarter inch flat brush and just painting a few little seed heads or buds or you know just little bits of information and detail in the background. It's just building up an acrylic painting from large and darker tones and then building up to your mid-tones with a bit more detail and then the final lights and details to bring the whole thing together. So I'm using my small liner brush here, or you can use a small round brush, and I've just mixed up some of the violet, some of the blue, some of the yellow, some of the pink to make brown, or you can just use brown. It's just a paint in a little bit of darker areas, just in the center of some of the main daisies. Try not to overwork this or give it too much detail. Remember, keep your painting nice and loose. I'm just putting a few little light accents now on some of these little daisies. And because I did a lot of the mark making, you know, in the last sort of five minutes, I've lost some of the stems. So I'm using some white and a light green just to put a few more stems back in. That's the beauty of acrylics. You can just keep working with things, changing things. So the final thing I like to do in watercolor or acrylics is give my painting a spatter. In this instance, I'm just using white, slightly watered down so it comes off the brush easier, just to finish off my acrylic painting. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and the step-by-step -step process from start to finish. If you have any questions, remember put them in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.